Hello everybody, it's just me, Scotty McClure. It's Wednesday the 1st of February and it's 20 minutes past 5 in the evening. So you'll not be used to seeing me at this time. But I thought I'd just pop up and say hi to you and give you an update on what's been happening. As you all well know, at 2200 hours on a Sunday evening, Scotty McClue has the Scotty McClue Show live on Facebook Live just for you, dinky doo. And what a fantastic show that is, although I say it myself. This is going on your feedback. This, we think, is the new television. Everybody's getting fed up with television, with long adverts, with repeats, with the same stuff, with large fees, subscriptions, etc., etc. And of course, virtually everybody who's internet savvy has got a Facebook account. And Scotty McClue appears on Facebook Live. And it has proved tremendously successful. Now, it's well tried and tested because we've been doing it now for 19 shows. We did the 19th show on this Sunday evening, just the other day there. And on the Saturday before that, I launched a Go fund me account and this is because what we're hoping to do is improve the show get bits of equipment and uh, perhaps increase the frequency of it due to the tremendous success a hundred thousand people have watched the show now that's not bad for starters and of course that's people from all over the globe people who happen to be on facebook people who are friends of scotty McClure. And what I don't want to do is long, expensive advertising to fund this program. So what I've suggested is that either we can take short adverts, just written up on a whiteboard to say, this is the garage that you can go and get your car fixed at. These are the builders that will come and fix your house and do it properly etc etc and just hold it up on a whiteboard and say there's the telephone number there's their name go and get on with it also though i've set the bar on the gofundme quite high and the reason i've done this is because i think we may be eligible to pick up media assets if they are appropriate as and when so if you go on to gofundme to the website you'll see the url for it on the title for this video and if you go on to GoFundMe and you put in the Scotty McClue show or Scotty McClue, I will pop up. And as you can see, people have been incredibly thoughtful and incredibly generous and incredibly kind with their time and their money. Now, if you don't feel you've got anything to give, not to worry. Share and share and share the GoFundMe site so that it gets round as many people as possible. In other words, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, not just on Facebook Live, not just on YouTube, not just on Twitter, not just on Google+, not just on LinkedIn. If you're a business person, we're on LinkedIn and you're very welcome to connect with Scotty McClue on LinkedIn if you're bona fide, as they say. A little bit of Latin there for you guys. Uh, so there you are. So that's what we're looking at. So the reason for me coming on tonight at uh, 20 past five, a little bit later now, 24 minutes past five, is just to say thank you. We are on the move. We are up and running. And funding is starting to come in. And remember, from little acorns, great oak trees grow. And for that, I am eternally grateful. And if you don't happen to receive a thank you message, if I've missed something, please take this as a tremendous thank you. Now, it doesn't matter what you want to give. As I say, some people have been incredibly gener generous. But if you want to give a pound or five pounds, or £10, £20, £25, £100, £1,000, £10,000, £50,000, a million pounds, if you believe in what Scotty McClue has got up and running here. And what could be better 
than a public show grown from scratch, grown organically in front of the people, funded by the people. So there you are. It is the people show. We're building a massive, massive following. Last week, 12,000 people saw the show. If you add up the little videos and the YouTube, because we upload the videos to YouTube afterwards so that they are there for posterity and you can see them. You will also get them on Facebook Live. So if you like to go to GoFundMe, www.gofundme.com forward slash the hyphen Scotty hyphen McClure hyphen show. And you ought to pop something in. As I say, a fiver for Scotty, a score for Scotty, just whatever you feel is appropriate for you. Also, if you prefer PayPal, if you want to get to wwwscotty mcleucom where 10 million people have visited the Scotty McClue official website. And feel free to pop something into PayPal, via PayPal, and our thanks to you for that as well. Our thanks go out to you big style. The main show, of course, if you like to join us at 10 o'clock sharp, 2200 hours Greenwich Mean Time, 10 o'clock sharp, that will be around 5 o'clock if you're in the United States of America. And the best thing you can do for me is share and share and share. I know a lot of you see the videos, you think, oh, I like this guy, or I like this video, or it drives you up the flaming wall. That doesn't matter. But the thing is, if you can share and share and share and share and share, and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live, each Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp. Also, if you come and join us, remember these programs are interactive. We're interacting on Facebook here. It's tremendous. There's somebody who's put in FTP for the people, Scotty. How do you send the money, Scotty? You got a link. Yes, Brian. There's the link. You'll see it on Facebook. It's GoFundMe. And the link is www.gofundme.com. So GoFundMe, all one word, dot com, and then forward slash, and then it's the hyphen, Scotty hyphen, McClue hyphen show. And you can't go wrong. And that would be tremendous. And many a mickle, max a muckle. That's a Scottish one for little bits of pennies add up. We will get equipment. We will get the show improved. And it will be a tremendous way to do that. It's ambitious, yes. I've set the bar very, very high. So when you've picked yourself up by going, oh, for heaven's sake, then um, if you don't mind sticking a fiver or a ten, then that would be absolutely fabulous. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, everything with Scotty McClue on it, please share it. This is not just for me, this is for you. This is for all of us because we're using social media properly. We're building and building and building a massive audience. We're building a people's program. If you're fed up with clinical jukebox radio and clinical loud booming television with long, long, long adverts, many of which would have you in floods of tears, they're about serious illness. They're about starvation and struggle and everything. These are incredible, incredibly important that the world sees all this happening. But where's the light? Where's the entertainment? Where's the fun? Where's the joy? Where's the laughter? That's what we've also got to look at. And as you know, Scotty McClure has been informing, educating, and entertaining the nation about everything. We talk about everything for many years now. In fact, this is the year of Jubilee. This is the silver Jubilee of Scotty McClure on huge radio and television stations throughout the United Kingdom and making media people very, very wealthy indeed. This is about us. This is our show. So what you can do for me is find out every single bit of social media that Scotty McClure is on. I'm on Twitter, 
at Scotty McClue, all one word, S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E, at Twitter, right? Scotty McClue at Twitter, at Scotty McClue at Twitter. Get on to Twitter. Go to at Scotty McClue and follow me. If you're on Facebook, which you obviously are right now, then what I would like you to do is follow me on Facebook because I will run out of spaces for befriending people. So if you follow me, then you've got something there. Uh, Jerry Carty, Brian Sweeney, Ron Stewart, Brett Shepherd, Hal FM, Hal FM, rubbish without the big man. Okay, thanks, Scotty, says Brian. One big family, says Ron Stewart. We are the Facebook family. And I was hearing the other night, I don't want to in any way depress you, but I was hearing about the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who are lonely, some of them elderly, others just people of all ages who are lonely. That's because we don't have the big radio phone-ins on independent radio. Nobody was ever lonely when you could phone Scotty McClure and have a blether between 10 o'clock and 1 in the morning. Nobody was ever lonely when you could phone Scotty McClure between 9 o'clock in the morning and 12 o'clock midday. That's how we had huge, huge, huge audiences there. And the audience have come back instantly. I spoke to somebody who runs a television station down south and I said, would you like to take the Scotty McClure show? He went, no. I said, why not? He said, because you have a Scottish accent. Now, that to me is complete and utter bunkum and nonsense. So there we are. Uh, Andrew Thompson says, I sponsor Cats Pro for six quid a month. That's a famous burger stroke chicken meal or 10 ciggies a week. Scotty, get on that STV Glasgow, says Angie. <laughs> Hugh Miller's watching. Uh, who else have we got? We all know you're here, says Hugh Miller. I'll share my Facebook group, says Brett Shepherd. Thank you for that, Brett. Now, I know a lot of you are coming on all the time and you think, well, you never even read out my message. But it's just I wanted to get that across to you. There's Ben Newbin saying, shout out, please. Yes, of course you can have a shout out. Richard Mackay's watching. Richard, lovely to hear from you. I got your tweet. But the reason I've gone down the GoFundMe route is because it doesn't complicate the program with long adverts that might depress the people. My job is to ensure your lot are happy and are cheered up not to depress you. So there you go, although we do talk about everything. And uh, thank you, says Ben Newman, not at all. Driving the mobile flooring showroom in Glasgow, says Derek McGonagall. Now, Derek McGonagall has got a mobile flooring showroom in Glasgow. So if you see mobile flooring, get yourself along and see Derek. And uh, one big family, Scotty. Absolutely, I can tell you that. I'm going to run back a bit to the start because I missed a lot of you. Um, no, it won't let me do that. Anyway, not to worry. Uh, so George Raffin's watching, David Hemsley's watching, Brian Sweeney's watching, James Bower's watching, Paul Francis Carroll, one of the finest organists in the country, played the organ for the... Um, induction of cardinal winning in glasgow i remember that wonderful fantastic so lovely to hear from you paul francis i hope all is well now we're starting to buffer here a little bit so there you are so i'd better think about pushing off if you can share everything folks if you can go fund me if you can pop something in that would be absolutely fantastic you choose you decide absolutely no pressure if you feel you've genuinely nothing to give not a problem can you keep sharing go to gofundme and share the scotty mcclue gofundme page that would be a tremendous help so just share and share and share and share in the feeding of the five thousand this is the feeding of the five billion and we will eventually get everybody sorted out. We will eventually build ourselves a fabulous talk show. But tell everyone about it. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. The video, get the link for the video. Send it to your friends and say, do you ever watch Scotty McClure on Facebook Live? He is dinky doo. So there you are. And uh, that's fantastic. Easy, guys. The big man rules. 
Mary Carty's watching. This is amazing. Got you all here. Uh, fantastic. I'm just going back again to see. There we are. Jim Robin, one of the finest IT guys in the country. He's watching right now. Chris Max watching. And uh, who else have we got here? So, there's Derek. Thank you, says Ben. Not at all, Ben. A great pleasure. It's very interesting that whatever time one comes on to Facebook Live, you guys are around there. So, there you go. Ho, ho. See? Spotted. Absolutely fantastic. And um, thanks be to every single one of you. Thank you again, folks, for your generosity. So you've got PayPal at the Scotty McClue website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. You've got GoFundMe at www.gofundme.com forward slash the hyphen Scotty hyphen McClue hyphen show. Fantastic. If you wouldn't mind, but the links will be up on my Facebook page. Also, if you can get on to the public page, there's about five and a half thousand there. If you can get on to the public Facebook page, I'll post the link to that. Get on and like it and uh, start conversations all over the place. Fantastic. Great, Scotty, says Sid. Sid Harris there. Fantastic. And I'll tell you what else I'm loving about this program, guys. It is absolutely, genuinely, truly global. It's amazing the amount of doubting Thomases that laugh when you say you're global. I, I global. Oh! And then somebody comes on from Sydney in Australia. Somebody comes on from South Africa. Somebody comes on from Canada. Somebody comes on from America. It's fantastic stuff. Um, somebody comes on from New Zealand. Somebody comes on from Tasmania. Somebody comes on from Vancouver in Canada. Somebody comes on from Ireland. Somebody comes on from Wigan in Lan Lancashire. It's great. Somebody comes on from Govan in Glasgow. I will go to your page. Go fund me, says Robbie Proven. Thank you. Thank you, Robbie. That is appreciated. And guys, I will keep updating you as time goes on. So there you are. So I will keep updating you, letting you know how things are progressing and just popping up to say thank you. It is very, very much appreciated. And remember, as I say, from the little acorns, the great oaks grow. Um, hello, Scotty. Have a great day from D in the United States. Dee Nelson there in the US of A. And uh, also we've got Angie Thompson says, no a problem. I'll get the pennies in the bank this week, Scotty. As the Wayne wants to donate his pocket money. He won an award at school and he should dinky do. <laughs> <laughs> shared, 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 says Derek McGonigal, Derek McGonigal, sorry, beg your pardon, I think I might have put the wrong teeth in before I came on there, watch your views on lady drivers, my man, says Brett Shepherd. Brett, get yourself to the supermarket, see the ladies parking, oh, oh, finest entertainment, apart from Scotty McClure and Facebook Live, what exactly do you do with the money that people fund you with, Scotty, says Richard Mackay, well, Richard, we haven't had a lot yet because we've just launched. But what I'll be doing is buying equipment for the program. I'll also be advertising the program, so we'll be building it. And I think after 25 years, Scotty McClue knows how to build a massive program on radio and television. And also, I've set the bar quite high, Richard, because what I'm hoping to do is that we might see a media asset en passant if you get my meaning, and we'd be in a position to uh, purchase that and to fund that and have that as an alternative to some of the uh, mainstream media that people don't actually trust these days. Because mainstream media has got an agenda. Uh, you know, it's full of servants with too many masters. Uh, and you can't serve to our masters, as we say in Scotland. So that's exactly what we do with it, Richard. Eliza Jane Caldwell's watching. Eliza Jane, dinky do to you. Thomas Dreghorn is watching. Fantastic. Can everybody share, folks? What's the time? Oh, yes. 20 to 6. If you can share, 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 share. Because I suspect Scotty McClure and Facebook Live is the new television. People are getting thoroughly fed up with the output in TV. We've gone back to basics. I am your original talking head that you would have seen when the television service launched uh, after the Second World War. Uh, that's a great way to spend the money, says Ben Newborn. Absolutely, Ben. I like the idea, says Richard Mackay. It's if I see a little bit of broadcast equipment, Richard, nothing. 
haven't got the money for that, but I'd love to have it. It would make such a difference to the program. We can get it and fit it and use it and build the show. And then we can advertise the show and tell everyone about it. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And uh, also, love it. On the way now, I'll upload on YouTube, says Brett Shepard. Brett, that is fantastic. If you could do that, that would be tremendous. Scotty McClure has got a YouTube channel. There's about, I'm trying to think how many. I should, I should know this. I should know how many videos are on my own channel, for goodness sake. But they're growing and growing and growing all the time. And we've had, uh, so far, 270 thousand views on there but uh, we're needing subs so if you're in a position any of you to get on youtube and subscribe it's free it's interesting that it's called subscribe but it's absolutely free you just click the little red subscribe button and i've got something like i think it's 780 subs at the moment so we could do with a thousand there but we've got uh, 270,000 views so there's a little bit of a discrepancy there incredible um and uh, who else have we got angie's just shared i used to listen to you years ago says jeanette mcgarvey jeanette thank you it's fantastic in actual fact millions upon millions upon millions of people throughout the UK have been Scotty McClue fans for years, but I couldn't get to you because it's not my decision if I get hired by a radio or television company. It's not actually, it's my decision to accept the job, but it's not my decision to get hired by these companies. And some of them think, oh, for goodness sake, McClure, oh, we'd get, everybody would be listening. And you think, well, why not do it then? And, well, I mean, we'd, we'd, we'd have to deal with that. I mean, how, how, how would we cope with that? Nobody's bigger than the station, you know. All that kind of nonsense. And, uh, of course, I've had to just bite my tongue. Mm, mm, oh, I see. Mm, mm, quite right, quite right. All that sort of stuff. What about buying shares into your radio show, says Robbie? No, I think this is probably a better way to do it, Robbie. And then nothing goes up and down. So the people are not taking a risk. They know what they're giving and they know what they're getting. That's probably the thing. That's awesome, says Brett Shepard. Fantastic. And I can tell you that a top, top programmer, a chief executive officer of one of the stations who is also a top programmer, sought out a media mogul who shall be nameless, and said to the media mogul, can I just have a quick word, sir? He said, could we afford to hire Scotty McClure? And the media mogul said, he fixed him, and he said, could we afford not to hire Scotty McClure? Interesting, isn't it? Uh, so there you go. That's awesome, says Brett. Alex Fraser is watching a fine fellow. Dinky do to you, Alex Fraser. Tremendous stuff. So, guys, any way you can distribute this, get the GoFundMe link out there and get things moving. It's only been running a few days, so it's very, very early days. Uh, Westminster should fund you for cheering folk up in these dark days, says George Raffin. You know, George. There's something to be said in that the government should actually come to Scotty McClure and say we'll give you top ranking on the uh, BBC. We'll give you top ranking there, Scotty. But your job is to cheer the nation up. It's not too much to ask, is it? For goodness sake, are we dinky do? And I also think Scotty McClure would go very well on national radio at night, but also on national television. It's funny, I had a friend of mine who said, yes, your voice is actually a bit better than your appearance scotty i have to say <laughs> and i said this is what i look like i can remember when i first started reading the news on itv and the boss came in to talk to me one day fabulous and he chatted away we got on very well and then he looked at the clock and he panicked a bit and he said you've only got 30 seconds until you're live i'd better go and i said thank you sir and i tightened my tie i said do i look okay and he went well that's what you look like and I, it went out the door, and I was a wee bit shell-shocked because I thought, how rude, that's what you look like. But that was me not realising that he said, you wouldn't be here if you didn't look absolutely fine. And you see that when you see early broadcasts of me reading news on ITV. And you say, you wouldn't be like that uh, if you weren't. You wouldn't be here if you, if, if you weren't looking the way you were. And I thought, what was I going to do? Was I going to try on another face? Was I going to change my suit? 
all that kind of stuff. So it was complete and utter nonsense. Was I going to restyle my hair, you know, in 30 seconds? So yes, George, I agree. Westminster should fund Scotty McClure for cheering everybody up in these dark days because the politics at the moment are getting right on everyone's nerves. Mark Cridden is watching. Mark Cridden, you are a very, very fine fellow. And thank you for your generosity. Marvellous stuff. When I think your radio shows all the way back brings good memories of my nan and all the way we listen, says Brett Shepherd. Glad to have you back. Hugh Miller, get wee fat Bob to be your tea boy. Lol. <laughs> he knows too much, this man. Evening, Scotty boy, says Mark Cruden. What a fine fella. Evening to you, Mark, my boy. Evening to you and dinky doo la. I say. So there we are. Now, guys, if you want to uh, listen to the shows, there's audio videos, if you get my meaning, at YouTube, at Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. There's Twitter, there's Google+, and then get on to the GoFundMe, get on to PayPal, whatever's best, but GoFundMe has just been set up, and we've seen incredible generosity from the people. And I thank you Thank you, thank you. As I say, from the bottom of my heart, but also from the heart of my bottom. So there you go. Too much information. Um, evening, Scotty. Uh, Nicola Malone MacPhail is watching. Nicola Malone MacPhail. Lovely to hear from you, Nicola Malone MacPhail. With a lovely lady from the Orkney Islands. As I say, we're global, so it's tremendous. And uh, who else have we got? You're a good man, Scotty, says George Raffin. So are you, George Raffin. And don't let anybody tell you different. If anybody's ever got a problem with you guys, you remember, that's their problem. <laughs> so there you go. And um, good evening, Scotty, and two lovely kisses from Nicola Malone MacPhail. Good evening to you, Nicola Malone MacPhail, and two lovely kisses back to you, I say. We're starting to buffer a little bit here. Maybe that's because you're all getting fed up with me. If we can have one more share, if everybody can share the video, and also, as I say, if you can type on your YouTube, uh, you know, in your what, what are you doing right now, Right-click the Scotty McClue link. Right-click the GoFundMe link. You'll see the links coming up there. And send it off to them. Send it round the whole of social media. Because that's what social media is about. The internet just links us all up together. And unless television and radio start to get their act together, then it's going to be good night Vienna, I say, for them. Because you tell me, I mean, I've got several channels now on my telly. I flick through every single one of them. I see a great program on, and it's an advert break. And I know that that advert break is going to go on for quite a long time. And I also know that some of the adverts on it are going to depress me. Now, I'm not in any way making light of the level of tragedy that's facing the world at the moment. But also... What else do we have in entertainment apart from tragedy? We have comedy, the two masks, comedy and tragedy. And I think that's quite fantastic, but we've neglected the comedy. So there we are. What I might do tonight is, um, evening Scotty, you're a star, says John Douglas. John Douglas, I thank you, sir. Lovely to hear from you. Very fine fellow. Shared, Scotty, says Nicola Malone McPhail. Thank you, Nicola Malone McPhail. That is very, very good of you. Scotty, I have to build a catapult for the Wayne's homework because Wayne shouldn't be in charge of glue or sellotape in case he's glued me to the floor at Christmas. Do you think these tasks are unfair on parents? My father helped me build a Viking ship out of cardboard. He was clever. He was one of these lovely, lovely people who just sort of got his sleeves up and helped the wee ones out. But there weren't the distractions. Have you noticed the young people are on their phones all the time? Phoning and phoning and phoning. Absolutely. And uh, who else have we got here? Gosh, you're all here. What's interesting? She's got see more. Wait till I see more. See if this will work. See more. There we are. Can I see more? It should work. I've got it in front of me, guys. It takes a bit of explaining what's actually going on here. But I can see all your Facebook uh, posts to me, and they go up, they sort of scroll up in front of me, a bit like uh, the autocue in television. And I was starting television before we had autocue. And then they got a little camera that came down from the ceiling. It shone down from the ceiling on the newsprint. And uh, we were supposed to move the paper forward. But if you leant forward like that, your head 
your head blocked the camera and you couldn't see you couldn't see the news story uh incredible stuff right i will push off as i say i really came on just to say thank you so much george Ravens says i've got about 300 channels but i still choose scotty for a wee laugh george i think when the word gets round we will find that scotty mcclue is the new television just for you dinky do because it genuinely 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 is interactive it is radio for the people it's for the people and we're genuinely interactive and we're going to skype so people can skype in i mean you've had the sunday night shows george so you know that people can skype in and have a chat and once we get that properly balanced and regulated again funding would be a tremendous help with things like that because i've had really quite a frustrating time with saying we need to build this so a bit of funding would help with that roddy martinez watching one of the finest men in the country so there you are any idea that roddy martin doesn't know it's probably not worth knowing actually i would say so there you go 300 channels george how do you manage to get out to your work son how do you manage to get out your work so there we go right uh, if you can get on to GoFundMe, folks, get on with that. Get sharing it round. If you do your bit, I will do my bit for you. Deal? Deal. Excellent. Love you all lots. Thanks very much for watching. I'm contemplating maybe popping up later tonight to discuss everything that's going on in the world. But we will see how the evening takes us. But to every single one of you, I say bless you look after your dear selves dinky do and ta-da lass scotty mcclure has left the building <laughs>